Good day viewers, my name is Dalin Tinokoka and I welcome you to Dell with Electrical YouTube channel. Today, I will be showing you how to install a gang stroke line isolator. The gang isolator has several parts. We have the installing channel ion, the connecting arm, the clipping seat, the U-clamp and the linking conductor. All this needs to be coupled together to form a unit gang stroke line isolator. To commence this installation, first thing you have to do is to take the channel iron and the side that is open will be faced downwards. The holes for bolting and tightening of those nuts have been appropriately opened. So you take the u clamp and place it at the middle hole and use the appropriate bolt and nut to tie it firmly to the channel iron. The next step is to install the two insulators. These insulators are usually installed at the two extremes of the channel iron. It is advised to tie them properly using the appropriate bolts and nuts. Now the third insulator is now installed on the U-clamp which has been previously installed on the channel iron. This is bolted properly using the appropriate bolts to ensure its movement forward and backward. Next, you install the clipping seat to the insulator on the right hand side of the channel iron. Ensure you clip it properly using the appropriate bolts and nuts to ensure it is very, very tight. Next, you observe the connecting arm to ensure that it fits in properly to the left insulator and the middle insulator. <laughs> After analyzing, you now take the arm base and place on top of the middle insulator. Ensure that the hole on the insulator is aligned properly with the hole on the arm base. You now take the connecting arm and place on top of the arm base and use the appropriate bolt and nut to tie the three together. You tie the base of the arm tie the arm itself and you screw it, tie it properly to the top of the insulator. Next, you connect the clipping seat to the left hand side insulator. Make sure the clipping seat is properly fitted to the holes that are placed on top of the insulator and tie properly. When you are done, you take the connecting arm and connect to the teeth of the clipping teeth. Make sure you use the appropriate boots and knots to tie them firmly to ensure that during this movement, it's not shaking left or right or forward or backward. Please always ensure you use the right wrench and probably a spanner to guide all the bolts and nuts properly because any little movement from this clipping seat or the crossy arm will make the gang isolator not to close by the time you want to close. Now you need to connect the connecting conductor carefully to the clipping teeth area of the left hand side insulator. This is very important because if the connectivity is not strong enough, by the time the arm is being clipped to the right hand side conductor, there might not be good conductivity. So you must ensure that this connecting conductor is properly tied with the right bolt and nuts to ensure strong connectivity. Now you have to test to ensure that the connecting arm clips firmly to the clipping seat on the right hand side. After this, your installation or coupling of your gang isolator is complete. Repeat same for the three other faces and take to the post section to install. I believe this video has been very useful to you. Kindly click the subscribe button to subscribe to our YouTube channel and share this video to other electrical friends so that they can get
the know-how on how to couple a gang shook line isolator.